I think we are good to go. Uh, so welcome to uh, the third episode in our case study uh, webinar series. Um, in each uh, webinar, uh, we dive a bit more into one of the case studies that are published on umbraco.com. And we do this because we want to inspire you with valuable knowledge and insights from some uh, real world uh, examples of uh, great Umbraco projects. Uh, my name is uh, Heli Kaulon. I'm partner manager for our Scandinavian partners. And uh, with me today, I have Jens uh, Josefsson from our Swedish gold partner, Webmind, and uh, Olof Jonasson from Volvo Retail Solution. And uh, they will share with us uh, how they consolidated several websites into uh, one solution uh, that allows uh, Olof and his team to handle all their work and communications uh, through uh, a unified platform. Uh, feel free to use the chat function during this uh, webinar if you have any questions uh, for uh, Jens or uh, Olof. So um, I think I'll just leave uh, the word up to, to you guys. So uh, take it from here. Thank you, Helen. Uh, thank you all for being here and listening to us. Uh, my name is Jens Josefsson and I'm from uh, Webmind, the Swedish gold partner. Yes, and my name is uh, Olof Jonasson and uh, I'm honored to be here today and I work as a brand communication manager at Volvo Car Retail Solutions. So we have an agenda. Uh, we, would, we will try to keep this for about 30 minutes and we will uh, talk about the challenges of this case both uh, before and during. We will talk about the key elements and functions in the solution. Uh, wins from the project, learnings from the project, and some future perspectives uh, for this solution. So, our agency is called Webmind. We're founded in 2004. Uh, we're originally from Sweden, where we have our main office in Gothenburg. We also have a small office in Denmark uh, with two employees. Uh, our clients is from different kind of sectors and different kinds of sizes uh, with different kinds of, of offerings. All they have in, in common is basically that they are using Morocco. Uh, we are very uh, involved in the Swedish Morocco community. Uh, we have arranged a lot of meetups uh, and also the Swedish Morocco festival. We have also developed the Eagle of Theme starter kit that is used as a foundation in many uh, different Morocco uh, web projects and is also a part of the new Morocco Uno. Uh, and we're a Morocco gold partner and new commerce powerhouse. Yes, uh, thank you, Jens. Uh, well, uh, who am I and uh, what is VCRS or Real World Car Retail Solutions? Well, we are a wholly owned company of uh, Volvo cars, the, the Volvo car company. And uh, if you look at the, the company, we've got a lot of different companies, uh, marketing, local marketing companies and sales uh, organizations. And we are part of the IT solutions. Uh, so we uh, provide uh, support for uh, users uh, among dealers uh, to support the sales and service process. Uh, so that's basically what we do. And, but why did we do this project? Uh, to answer that question, we really got to ask ourselves, why do we exist? Uh, what is our purpose uh, in this Volvo ecosystem? Well, if we, if we start at, uh, to look at our, our owner, the Volvo car, it's really from there we start. Uh, our purpose is the freedom to move in a personal, sustainable, and safe way. So that's the, that's the important base, baseline. Uh, translated to our company, of course, we, uh, all of those are important for us, but we focus on the personal perspective. And what I, what I mean about that is uh, the users now solutions. We've got a lot of solutions that sales representatives and personal technicians use uh, so, so that they can, they can use. And that's so that they have this freedom to move in their work, so to say, and help their customers. 
So, for example, it can be um, during a, a day at, for a work, personal technician, it's supposed to be a smooth workshop, the work there, and not uh, spend as much time on the computer. And as, as the same for a car customer, it's supposed to be a smooth car uh, journey for them to own and drive the car. So if we take this perspective and look into our uh, website and the target audience there, uh, if we look at it's, it's the dealers that uses our page and also applicants, people looking for jobs, um, our, oh, how, how does it look? Well, our uh, old website wasn't that, hadn't had a lack of freedom to move, so to say. Um, so, and, and so that, that's really was why we did this. We got to have an uh, easy, uh, smooth, um, easy to navigate web page um, where we also can um, really tell our story, our brand purpose will, will shine. So that's why basically we started this project. And that brings us into the challenges that we saw before the, the project, because you had uh, several different websites and they were all built in different times and in some cases by different agencies. Uh, most of them were running on Umbraco, but it was different versions of Umbraco. Uh, they had different targets groups which reflected on the both the design and communications on all of these sites so it for the visitors it can kind of give in a way a, a messy impression uh, and i think for you guys it was a lot of, of different ways to handling different information on different places uh, and from our perspective it was a lot of work keeping up keeping uh, different solutions and, and we might, might have built something that you needed one place and then you needed it in another place and, and we have to rebuild a lot of things. Uh, so what we really wanted to do was to build one website to rule them all, so to speak. Um, one solution that could handle all these different uh, target groups and all, all your content. And we, we talked about this for a couple of years, I think, before we finally did the project. Yeah, yeah, we, it's, it's true. That's what we did and it was quite frustrating. But if you kind of look back uh, the past years, it's like the reality is often like um, we get this constant request we, um, from product management or R&D or HR or people experience, let's call it in Volvo. Uh, we got to launch a new product or uh, we got to have a collaboration site or we got a rollout project and we need an onboarding site. Uh, and, and so then you got to deliver fast. And sometimes when you look in hindsight, uh, wow, we built a lot of sites. And um, so you don't have the opportunity to, to say, well, oh, we got to wait a second here. We've got to think this through and we've got to find a better solution. That's, that's not possible. So, well, um, but if you look at this one, we, we said like, okay, now it's the time. Uh, all these different that you see here in, in the slide, like we're going to be one. Uh, so we, that's basically the, the challenge we took. And, um, we made it into one and we succeeded and uh, now we're we're working on it uh, almost every day and uh, it's picking up so to say yeah so the key elements of the site or the solution it's it's built on Morocco 8 that was important for us to get the uh, the latest version and a better handling of, of different uh, languages uh, we used our eagle theme as the foundation uh, and we're running all on Umbraco Cloud. It's based on, or it's, it's a public website and an extranet for Volvo car dealers. And what I'm mostly impressed of is, is actually the size of the public website because you're a quite large company. You have several different offerings to several different target groups and we we made it so small and and so so easy to use so straightforward yeah, yeah. and that is something that i think is really impressing and i i think that must have been 
a challenge for you uh, from the marketing team. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, that's true. And I think that um, a lot of um, companies that had a lot, a lot of engineering focus and developers, it kind of, you kind of notice that in the, in the websites as well. I've noticed through the years when you look at those companies, it's kind of, we want this content, we must show this. And so that, that was a discussion we had. And if you look at our previous webpage, we, we used to promote all our products and modules. And it, it was kind of confusing because don't get me wrong, the products are really important. And that's, that's our, uh, the, the, the heart, so to say, in our company. But for a, for a new visitor, it's not, it's not that we want to, to tell them in, on the first date, so to say. It's like, the, the, then we want to, it could be really easy to, to understand, to get this, aha, I kind of get it. In the first image, I can see this, this is within Volvo Retail and it's very human, it's familiar, and it's okay, what you're doing solutions. And you, even if re reading the first texts of the website, you should really get it. So it's, it's, it's just like um, a Japanese garden. When you're, when you're done with taking away stuff, uh, and you can't take off anything more, it's done. So we were really tough to make it really, really easy. And then when, when you meet us for the, for the, for the second time, the, the second date, so to say, we can meet and we can discuss details and products and, and code and development and, and those kind of things, but not on the website. And uh, everybody kind of agreed. And when they saw the end results, they were really satisfied. And there still are no hard feelings about uh, things that people <laughs> want on the website or, or why no. don't you do this and, and stuff no, like that? No, it's, it's, it's the contrary because, because a lot of uh, people that work at our place used to, you know, they have relatives and friends and they want to recommend uh, uh, people to, to go to work at our place. You know, they, they couldn't really re give them the, our previous site, but this one, they're really proud to, to share and use in social media. And, so, so that's that was a nice outcome to to to, uh, to be able to feel proud and and for once people on the outside get what we are doing uh, because it make we make it really simple and we take uh, like we where we used to have products in you can go and see for yourselves on the website what we do uh, we decided not to list pro uh, products instead we have these short stories and we have uh, in in a short text we can without even mentioning five products. We're describing a story that helps the customer or the personal service technician to save a lot of time to focus on the car and the customer instead. Uh, so that's basically the, 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 imp the important uh, difference from this site and the previous site. Yeah, you did a really large job to, to keep the content nice and clear. Yeah. Uh, you have an amazing uh, library of, of Volvo pictures and you chose wisely from them and the text is so short and consistent and I'm impressed how how we could keep it small and simple but it it at the same time it feels like everything a new new visitor must have is there yeah and we kind of we kind of make that joke on Volvo sometimes it's like uh, every person with a nice camera with a camera in town takes pictures of Volvos. It's like we got so much picture and nice content. So what we, what we did, there's tens and tens of thousands of pictures, but we, we, we choose to, to have the, those pictures that really, um, that our brand purpose could, could thrive, so to say. So we took a lot of pictures with, where we had cars and dealers and humans. So we could find our touch within the Volvo cars company. And I want to mention one more thing here, and that's quite cool. There, among these key elements, I have to, to mention one thing. It's like, so within one login, we, we in, in the back office, um, yeah, that's the slide. Um, we, could, we could have one login and service desk and the marketing department or h &R and the product team could do their thing. So the service desk could help out with access, uh, access and passwords and stuff. And... And the HR, they can have can can, can manage their job job jobs on the site. And the product team can show how their backlog, how their development backlog, and what's done and what we're taking next. Trans so they can show transparency to the target group. Well, all these things 
uh, all these different target groups and people within our company are done within one back office login and one single login for our customers. Uh, so that's really the, the, the important point here at the end. Yeah, so it's one site for both the, the public website and, and the login uh, part. And we are using Umbroco members for the login. Um, and it's basically not that many uh, really technical features here. We have integrated with different kinds of, of systems from Volvo, uh, but still it's quite, quite easy managed. And we basically have the same features for managing content in, in both the public and, and the customer login part of the website. So it's easy to handle. And when we need to develop a new feature, it will be accessible for you guys to use at both the public website and the login. And all is managed in one Umbroco solution. Yes. and. Uh... And one more thing there I want to, to add is like when, when we started to build this, it's like during this process, I said to you, Jens, like this is this is what we want to do. I was not, of course, not exactly telling you how we would like it. It's like this, this we want to achieve. And then you kind of give our a suggestion and we could take off from that. So that has been really, really nice. And and when you're talking about these uh, components and uh, that we're using these standard features, that's good because if we, if we in, in one or two years, we, we don't have these problems when we upgrade them. But we, can, we, we can really, um, it's really simple for us to, to reuse the things that, that's your that's standard package. Yeah, that's right. And I think that takes us into the wins of this project. Yeah, uh, this is really fun to talk about. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> because we had some pains pre previously, and now it's you know it's uh, um, it's it, things are becoming much more easier and smoother. So just to I want to elaborate some about this smoother um, concept uh, or what we're talking about. Um, with that, we mean you can tell that. You can, Talk about it's getting easier, less friction, or uh, no bumps in the road, um, or for that matter, uh, not have multiple roads to your goal, uh, but to have one road, one simple road. So that's what the thing that uh, a smoother, you know what you're looking for, you're going to find it. So we wanted this main road, or actually, I should say, our customers wanted more simplicity because we had on our uh, latest uh, customer survey and uh, customers were saying we, we had too much platforms, too much sites, we are confused, we don't know what to do. So it's uh, from that we started to really work harder uh, on uh, improving this. And uh, so, and, and, and one important thing is here, it is very fun to build this site, uh, but we have to remember that we got to close the other ones. So that was a big part of this and we, we, we have closed down Two, two platforms or sites, the latest two or three weeks. Uh, so, so we're really gaining, so we, we're, we're establishing, establishing this one, we're closing the other ones as well um, and, and do that immediately. Um, one, another gain here in the customer satisfaction is that we haven't talked so much about this, but the Volvo dealers can log into the site. So what we're doing there is like, we have this transparency Instead of uh, the dealers asking different people in our company, uh, when is this uh, feature coming? I want to do this with my customers and how can you help us out with this? And what's the status of that? We can show this on the login, uh, really, really nice design as well. So it's not like one complex system that you have to figure out what the developers mean and it's hard to find the business value deep into a, a backlog system where developers work. Instead, we convert this into a, a more business view, so to say, with, with the business value for, for the dealer. So that's another important thing about customer satisfaction. I want to say some words about brand purpose and employee branding as well. I've talked about some about it. It's uh, that our brand could really, really it, it could make justice on, on it on the, on the website because 
what, but basically another important thing is to attract the best talents. Um, <clears throat> it's, it could be about the young talents or experienced professionals. And, and today it's very important to communicate the purpose of what we do, um, to, to what, what, what kind of difference do we make. Then you can, you can really, really start to, to attract people when they get it, so to say. And uh, so that we have really, really got uh, good um, uh, judgment from, from people around the company and outside the company. Uh, so, uh, so I can say that. And there is, um, there can be a risk of, of uh, having too, wanted to have too much complex stuff on the site. Um, so when we, when we could uh, um, make it easy for people outside the company to understand us, and that was the, the big I, idea of, of the whole thing. So all in all, we got uh, increased traffic. We can already see that. Uh, the, it's, it's also that people are really interesting when the next feature is coming. When can we see this on the site? And that's funny because it's, uh, um, otherwise it's a website that, that you're going to have. But now it's like an important thing for us to be transparent for our customers. Uh, so the comments uh, are really saying that we are on the right path. And that is really, really good to hear. Uh, and from our point of view, it, it's so much easier to work with you guys now that we have one modern platform. Uh, this is a stable solution running on Umbroco Clouds. We know it's updated. Uh, and we don't do a lot of work in, in unnecessary work, if I put it that way. We talk about new features sometimes, we develop them and they are developed uh, where you need them and you can use them as, as you want. So uh, less unnecessary uh, work with just keeping things running. Uh, so, so when you really call us in, we feel that the things we are doing make, make a difference and, and make sense. And that's, yeah. that's a good feeling for, for us as uh, as a partner and the developers. Yeah, I totally agree. So the learnings, what did we learn from this project? Yeah, well, it's um, one in, important thing was when we, uh, like one, one and a half year ago, we talked a lot about getting a new website and um, let's do this now. And at that time, we were, I said, we were not really, really finished with with this brand purpose, so what what what's he supposed to to say? And and so we so we say let's let's wait and um, let's take this work with our brand first, and then uh, when we when we're ready with uh, these issues um, concerning purpose and things like that, and then when we were finished, we said okay, now we know what to do. Then when then it became easy for us to uh, to start this project. From that on, because we could say, okay, we're going to focus on this thing, and not that one, not that one, it's this one, uh, and that's how we didn't get this uh, scope creep, so to say. We, we knew that we're going to do this, not more than that. Uh, so I think, think that's one vital thing. Yeah, and I know I was nagging um, on you for for quite some time that we really need a new website. We really need to redo this. But you, you felt that you had to do your kind of homework. And then when we started the project, we saw that you had really done it well. Because the, from our perspective, the, the project was really easy and it was fun. Uh, we didn't do it in an actual agile way. We, we didn't have any milestones or sprints. We kind of had it up and running really, the, the base of the site really fast by using uh, Eagle and, and Morocco Cloud. Uh, and we build the foundation, we let you guys in, you start working with content and then you said that we need this and we need that and can we change this? And we did that as just an ongoing working yeah. together. And that was really, really fun. And it, it went really, really well. Yeah, and as I said earlier, it, it was like you're meeting some friends and uh, have a cup of coffee and they were like meet in a garage and build a hot rod or something like that. Uh, I don't know. So we had, a, we had, it was fun. It was a fun project. It was, um, yeah, uh, it was one of those projects that you will remember. Yeah, absolutely. 
And I think that takes us into uh, talking about this long-term relations. It's like, it's not like, uh, let's get a web agency and do this and then we're done. It's like, um, I think that's one of the key, key successes that we knew each other for some years ago. And we have this, you understood us and we understood you and you could, we could really uh, have this, we had this match uh, together. So that's, that's an important thing. Yeah, you can either have a, a kind of fussy idea. I want something like this, and we thought about yeah. it, and we made something and showed you, and, and you said, "Yeah, that's exactly yeah. that. That that is what I meant." <laughs> <laughs> I did exactly. I didn't show me something that I don't know that I want. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I want, but I can't tell it myself. You have to show me. And it worked. And and I think the way we we manage this project isn't isn't a fit for every project, but at this this time it really worked well and it was it was a passion project for both parts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So future perspective for for the website and for the meaning of it. Yeah, and uh, what what we're doing now is um, we're making it even easier for the dealers as well as my for my colleagues in the product management team because, as I said earlier, we gotta close other platforms, and that's what we're doing in this project. We're closing one complex platform. It's how to um, visualize a roadmap and uh, what's, what's in development and what's next and what's done and so on and so forth. So, so we're getting rid of, rid of that and we're actually integrating a view like that uh, into the website, the login. Uh, so this is really, really good because um, it, it also takes away a lot of administration from, from my colleagues. So it's smoother even for them. Uh, so when we have this, um, view on the website and a, a lot of customers are asking for it because they pay us for the solutions and they want to see what where when they get the things that they uh, they requested so this will further strengthen our customer relations to our stakeholders via via the website and i really look forward to that this next project that we're actually starting quite soon yeah yeah I'll try to make it sooner. I know. Yeah, I think you're gonna you're gonna skip Christmas or yeah, I will. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Now, but but from from how we see it, the the site is secure and it's running, and we don't need to to do anything unnecessary. We we do new stuff when you realize that 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 is something you need to. Uh, so that's a really, really good thing, and it's good in the long perspective for this this site, I believe. Yeah. So um, we're moving into the questions, I think, and I've got one here. Um, there's a question on why use Umbraco as a platform? You can use anything, and maybe that's for you to answer, Olaf. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've worked with some uh, uh, different CMSs uh, before, but um, the thing that stands out with Umbraco is like we, we had a traditional agency before and uh, we kind of felt like uh, we want to do more ourselves. So the, this web, we, we had with, with a partnership with Jens, we could, okay, we, we could, um, me and my colleagues, we could uh, become our own agency, so to say, that we can, we have really nice pictures and we got people that's really good in uh, copy. Uh, so we could do a lot of things really, really fast ourselves. And that's the big thing about uh, the Braco CMS. It's really, really nice. And I can, I can have this flexibility to do to, um, with the pictures and upload. And I can, you know, they have these really nice wide screens and, and uh, the, the texts are really, texts and stuff are really, really nice to, to, um, uh, to work with, uh, so that's basically why we uh, we really really like Umbraco CMS. Yeah, good. And um, I think Umbraco is a perfect solution for you. Uh, in your company, you are working with uh, .NET, so it's it's a good fit to have a CMS in in the same technologies that you're working with. 
um, you have the flexibility in the open source uh, CMS here. And yet I think it, it's a perfect fit for, for you guys. Yeah. Do we have any more questions or do Helle have something to add? I'm just uh, happy to hear all of that you uh, are so uh, happy about the whole editor experience that you you get in Umbraco. Uh, I guess one of our absolute biggest uh, unique selling points. So uh, so happy to hear that. Um, I don't know if uh, anyone has uh, any final questions for Jens or Olaf. I, of course, want to thank you, Jens and Ola, for giving us a tour around this project and uh, sharing uh, all your experiences uh, about uh, making a project like this. Um, and happy to hear that you actually also had fun during this, that it was not just uh, hard work. That was really fun. Um, yeah, uh, put your questions in if you have any. Uh, this uh, webinar is recorded. So if you want to watch it again, or share with your colleagues, uh, you will find it on umbrago.com uh, in the section, uh, the case study section. It should be posted there within a few days. Jens and Olof, uh, I don't think there is uh, more questions from the audience. So I just want to thank you again. Okay, thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.